All right, so uh, I've been taking a look at your swing a little bit before I started recording, and um, like I chatted with you, obviously, you know, you know what's going on, and you know, we know you've got game for sure. A um, few little small things that I want to start on working with, and and um, then we can develop it later on um, as we uh, as we work together a little bit. Um, but like I said, overall, you know, you. I really don't think it's going to take very long for you to get there. Um, it's it's pretty minor things that will feel um, a little bit different to begin with. But once you get a couple buckets in, you'll see the results and you'll see, you know, kind of how well you begin striking the ball. Um, obviously, you're pretty athletic. You're in pretty good shape. So I don't think uh, that these changes are going to be real major for you. Um, and like I said, it's it's just going to be a little odd to begin with. As anything changes in your golf swing, it's going to be a little odd, but we're going to stick with it and, uh, you know, really commit to what we're doing here, which is, uh, you know, getting better at golf. Let's get you back here a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a couple things with our setup. Um, let me get you right to where you're about to pull the trigger. All right, here we go. All right, number one, our shaft is actually, it seems like it's almost a little bit behind the ball. Um, you know, I'll be generous and say we're we're straight up and down, but if I was telling you the truth, we're, we're setting up a little behind, you can see here, whereas... Tiger, his shaft, leaning a bit forward. All right, I just want a little bit of forward shaft lean here. Here we go. There's a better. Just a little bit of forward shaft lean here. So just bump these hands just a little bit that way. Getting, the, getting your hands in front of the ball just says Tiger as done here. All right, so... And that's going to be really important. Um, it's going to add a little bit of yardage to you, but more importantly, you're going to have a downward strike to it rather than rather than sweeping across. But um, so that's number one thing. All right, we've got to bump those hands forward. So watch this video a couple times. It's going to be a couple things, but um, that's the first. Um, second, and the, again, another important thing: your setup looks good with your legs. Um, it looks like you're a little bit taller. Um, from what I can tell, but that looks okay. Um, a big thing though is I want you to add a little bit of spine tilt, and I'm going to draw a line here, kind of show you how Tiger's spine is kind of tilted a little bit back behind the ball in this direction. So his target is that way, of course, but his upper body is tilted this direction. And let me draw a line here. Belt buckle through the nose is generally what's used. And, you know, he's tilted about seven degrees. Um, and what's interesting is he maintains this throughout his swing. And he actually increases by the time he hits the ball. So let me uh, back up one. Here we go. So from belt buckle through the nose, I mean, he's really, really behind it here. All right. And... Let's draw a comparison. Belt buckle through the nose. Let me get through the nose here. So you're about there. So you're set up a little bit behind, but watch what happens here when we get up to the top. Right here is our big move. We actually start losing our spine. Our spine starts leaning a little bit to the right which is causing that pull that uh, you and I talked about. That was one big thing that I, I noticed. So a big thing that I want you to work on between now and next time is really just trying to stay behind the ball here. All right, and I'll, I'll draw a line on Tiger again just so you can watch and see how his, let's call it his upper body, kind of stays tilted behind the target. I'll draw a line on his shoulders here. 
or his uh, from his hip through the shoulders, just to show you he's still well behind the ball at the top. Whereas we got you on the right here. That's not a fair one. Let me go here to here, here to here. That one's not real fair either. But I'm trying to prove my point here. But it's definitely negative compared to Tiger, where he is adding, or not adding, but uh, he's staying behind the ball more that direction. And we are leaning this direction currently. And that's probably going to be the most vital part of this lesson here, is just to work on staying behind. All right. So once we do stay behind, we do this all the way through the swing, through impact even, too. Once you get released, then you can go ahead and pop up out of your uh, stance here. But <clears throat> this is just tour. It's way behind the ball. His hands are ahead the whole entire way here. I don't have the frame, of course, but his hands will be about right here ahead of the ball whenever he's hitting it right there. Let's see if I can go forward another frame. No, I don't get it. But whereas on this side, see how that club releases a little bit early? We're still ahead of it, kind of, right here. But we definitely go a little bit early. Our right hand gets involved and we start flipping. All right, so just to recap here, a big thing that I want you to work on is trying to work on just maintain staying behind the ball at the top. And that will put us in a lot better position on the downswing, just to begin with. And um, a big thing is this is going to stop eliminating that pull a little bit. You may start hitting a little bit of a push, and that's totally fine. Um, it just goes out to the right, doesn't slice or anything. Um, that's a that's actually a progress in the right direction. Then we'll uh, during our next lesson we'll start probably hitting a draw um, by the end of it. Um, but like I said, big takeaway: let's stay behind, keep our head behind throughout the swing, and just to draw another little line here. I wouldn't want let me get rid of the arrow. I wouldn't want your head passing behind that line. So a, a little swing tip that I used myself and what I give still is just keeping your nose behind the ball at all times. See our head kind of meets the line there. It's at the top right there, we kind of lean into it and never get back behind it. Whereas Tiger... Keep him there. He's still behind. He's shifting. But there it is. His head stays way behind right there. All right. So um, give this a shot. Let me know how it goes. Chat with me. If you have any questions, when you get out to the range, let me know your feedback on what you get from the range. But this is going to be our uh, big step one. And this will really help stop that pull a little bit as well.